Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the garter block stitch using your Gallery London S loom. Now the garter block, it is a mixture of actually of eight rows um, that you just repeat over and over until you get your project done. You start with your first two rows, you purl four and knit four. So we got so the first four pegs you purl four knit four now you can use your e-wrap knit stitch if you want or you can do the reverse purl knit stitch for this video I am just doing the e-wrap knit stitch um, the main difference is going to be if you do the reverse purl stitch it will be a lot tighter one two three four all right, and we don't have an even number, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll just e-wrap these last two. We just got to remember these last two. Okay, so our first, that was our first row. The last two were just e-wrapped, right? Yes. Sorry. Double check. So we'll e-wrap and then we will purl four, knit four, purl four. So go ahead and do that. And then your next two rows after that okay, are your just first knit. four rows are done. This is that second row of your knit stitch, whichever one you're using. I'm using just the e-wrap. So let me take those off and I'll show you the second part. Okay. Now this first part, remember we did purl four, knit four for two rows, and then just knit two rows. So this one we will be doing knit four, purl four for two rows, and then just knit two rows. So what that would be is, which I skipped that first one just to help it lay flatter. You can skip it or wrap it either way. Neither way is, is uh, wrong. So one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. We got our knit, our purl four. Now we're going to knit four, or e wrap in this situation. E wrap four. And of course, I had two left over, so we'll go ahead and do those two. You do one more row like this, and then you do two knit rows, and you repeat that. So what you're repeating is purl four, knit four for two rows, knit two rows, knit four, purl four, purl four for two rows, and knit two rows. You just repeat that pattern. The only thing you're changing up is one set you'll purl four, knit four. The next set you will knit four, purl four. I'll go ahead and work up enough of this so that you can see the texture and show you how it turns right, out. So this is how your garter block pattern turns out. You have these little blocks on it, just little blocks of garter stitch exactly as it sounds. Try to show it to where you can see the texture of it. You can see the little blocks stand up and the back of it is the opposite. It's not really a reversible stitch, so again, it's one I would suggest more for hats and socks and gloves and things like that. But it is a neat stitch. It has a nice little texture to it. Alright, I do hope this video was helpful. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.